Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you demo about creating foreground service in Xamarin Android. So what is foreground service? Like a foreground service is like a, uh, some background tasks will keep running in a background even your application is completely closed. So let's uh, create a new project. So here I am just going to create a mobile app Xamarin, uh, Xamarin Forms project. For creating foreground service in Android, so just uh, create one class that uh, going to inherit uh, services class. So let me create here one folder and in that I am just going to create new class that going to inherit service class. So here I have created foreground service class that is going to inherit service class and here also I am just going to add one method start service command and here I will write the logic related to uh, whatever the log uh, stop that you want to run in background so that uh, stuff you can write here so here let me just run some task So this will run like every 2 second interval this uh, background service is running that message is going to display. Okay, Now this like uh, we need to add some logic to invoke this service. So for that I am just uh, going to create here interface uh, interface i foreground service and in that i will add like uh, one method Okay, like a start foreground service and stop my foreground service and this I am just going to implement in here foreground service. So for that I am just uh, going to here implement that in interface this when I foreground service interface and after that for running invoking from Xamarin form project. So here I need to add assembly reference also. So I am just uh, adding dependency of Xamarin form project.
okay so now this start my foreground service and stop my foreground service method is available here okay so for starting foreground service like you need to access android application context dot start foreground service and in that you need to pass in intent so let's uh, create intent and in that i will pass current android context and the type of like this intents will be the type of this foreground service and this i am just going to pass here in start foreground service and i will simply return true like that this foreground service is started and for stop foreground service i am just going to add same in here logic instead of start foreground service i will call stop service and in that i will pass the intent okay i'm just going to convert this uh, boolean to void because we don't need here boolean flag i will create another property for identifying like uh, service is running or not so let me just here create void method okay now on the click of button i'm just going to call this start foreground service so for that on a main page the jamal here i will create one button okay so here on the click of this button i am just going to invoke this foreground service start my foreground service method so for that i am just going to use dependency service and here i will pass the interface that i have created here i foreground service and i will call start my foreground service method and in platform specific so this will uh, create one intent type of foreground service and it going to call this start foreground service and this will invoke this stuff so let me run the project okay so here on the click of start foreground service the service is not starting so that due to here uh, i need to add one annotation called services either you can add here or in android manifest here you can create a intent filter of this foreground service but uh, this will be easy if you add here on the above the class 
so it will now this foreground service will identify as a service now so let me rerun the app okay so here it showing background service is running okay now it's throwing exception like this start foreground service did not call star uh, service dot start foreground because here uh, we did not actually started the foreground service so for starting a foreground service you need to here call start foreground and in that you need to pass id and the notification that because he in android like uh, when the application running in foreground then we need to so in notification that uh, background service is running something like that so for that let me first create notification channel that because in a new new version of android like above 26 SDK we need to create a notification channel so let me create here notification channel So here I am just uh, fetching uh, notification service. So using notification service manager, I will create notification channel. So here I will check like Android build SDK is greater than okay so about 26 so it will be greater than or equal to so this notification channel we need like on either 26 sdk version or above that then we need to create here notification channel So here I need to pass unique channel ID so this foreground service channel ID I am going to pass and that channel name so I am just going to pass same now using notification manager I will create notification channel and in that I will pass this object notification channel object so here uh, notification channel is created now let's uh, create here i need to pass notification also so for that let's uh, create notification builder so i'm just uh, going to copy this notification builder okay so here in notification you can set like background uh, title like uh, whatever the title you want here i am just setting background service started and here the subtitle you can add and make sure you need to set this set ongoing property to true because when the while this background service is running so this notification will be always display so 
for that purpose here set on going uh, we need to set as a true now here i'm just uh, going to pass this notification builder dot build so this going to start notification uh, sorry this going to start uh, the foreground service and it will also display this uh, notification so let me run the app So here now it's throwing some exception. Let me see permission in uh, Android manifest. So we require permission of foreground service to run foreground service. So let me uh, now rerun the application. Okay, so here it uh, displaying now this uh, foreground service is running and here also it displaying a notification that uh, service running in foreground now let me close the app okay let me connect with a real device because this simulator is uh, uh, work flow so let me connect real device so i am i am using visor software to connect uh, with real device Okay, now let me run the app. Okay, so here on the click of start program service, it displaying this uh, service is running in foreground and here in output window it uh, displaying the background service is running now let me close the app so even after closing the app this uh, background service is running in a foreground okay now again i open the app and again if i click on start foreground service then it's going to start second service so for that now let's add uh, logic related to like if the service is already running then it will display some message like a foreground service is already running so for that here i'm just uh, going to Override another method on create and on destroy. It. So here I am just going to create one flag. So 
so when the service is started so that time i will uh, set here is foreground service is running to true and here i will set to false like his foreground service is running like when the service is destroyed that time it will set to false now here in i foreground service interface i will create another method like check is foreground service is running and let me implement that here in platform specific android project so i'm just going to return here this flag okay now here in a main page i will check like so like if the foreground service is running then i will display some alert message and if it is not running then uh, i will start the foreground service now here let me change this uh, title to because this is actually foreground service okay now let me rerun the app okay so here it displaying foreground service started and foreground service running in foreground and in output window also this every 2 second interval it's uh, displaying foreground service is running now if i click on this uh, start foreground service button then it will display that foreground service is already running now let me close the app so here services keep running and if i again open the app and click on this then it going to display foreground services already running okay now let me add another button for stopping foreground service so here on main page i am just going to add another button for stop foreground service and here i am just going to call stop foreground service matter that exists in foreground service class now this matter will uh, stop the foreground service and it will on the service destroy so it going to set this is foreground service is running flag to false now this flag i am just going to use here in this uh, while loop so this trade is only going to execute when like this uh, foreground service is running now let me run the app
so here uh, now it displaying foreground services started and here uh, it displaying for foreground services running now if I again click on same then it's a display foreground services already running now let me stop this so on the click of stop stop foreground service that uh, notification uh, remote and here now it's uh, not calling foreground service is running so that means this uh, while loop is also stopped now again if i click then the foreground service is started now let me close the app again i open the app and if i click on this then it will display foreground service is already running and on the click of stop it's going to stop foreground service okay so this foreground service like even i close the app then this foreground service is keep running here but like what happen if i switch off the device and or i reboot the device so that time this background uh, this foreground service is not going to start so for that uh, we need to use broadcast receiver so when the application is rebooted so we can identify that and again start the foreground service so let's implement that okay now let me create one class in a services my broadcast receiver and this class going to extend broadcast receiver and here I am just going to set unable to true by default this broadcast receiver is disabled so I am setting that to true and export it to true and also here I need to set intent filter because like uh, this broadcast receiver execute when so here I am just uh, set intent filter So this broadcast receiver is going to execute when the action boot is completed. So either device is restarted or switch on or switch off. So in that case this uh, on receive method is going to execute. So let me add here condition like if intent.action equal to equal to intent.action boot completed then here I will start foreground service so I'm just uh, going to copy this code so I will use this context dot start foreground service and in that I will pass this foreground service intent okay another thing in android manifest.jml we need to set one permission receive boot completed so like when the application is rebooted so it will send one broadcast to our application that application is rebooted and it's going to invoke this on receive method and here we are checking if the action boot is completed then it's going to start foreground service now let me run the app okay now let me start the service okay now foreground service is started i am just going to uh, reboot the device and let's see after reboot device it's working or not
okay so this foreground service is not started so let me see in setting okay so here foreground service application is managed by this uh, device operating system automatically so for that i need to set this to manually so in honor device you will found this option like in setting then battery option then app launch so that app launch is managed by this uh, honor operating system so here i am just uh, going to set program service to manually now i am just going to again start this foreground service and i am just going to reboot device again so in honor device uh, that setting exist inside the battery option uh, like uh, some other device has a auto start permission like application auto start permission so that you need to enable then only that uh, uh, this application going to start background service uh, i mean foreground service okay so if you see here now the foreground service is started so after rebooting device that foreground service automatically started so now again if i launch the app and click on start foreground service then it will display that foreground service is already running okay so in honor device as i said that option available in a battery in a inside a setting option then battery and app launch so like in a redmi device yeah, you have like if you go to application then you have another option like auto start permission so you need to enable that permission then only this uh, foreground service is going to work okay so that's all for today i hope you like this video and please share it and uh, subscribe my channel thank you so much